Welcome to another Mindful Minutes. I want to take a moment to talk about the power of intention, creating routines, and overcoming decision fatigue. Welcome to Ja Advisory. Master yourself, master the universe. Greetings and blessings. Jamal here, and today we're going to jump right in. So sit back, make sure you're comfortable, close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. From here on, we do all breathing through the nose if possible. Inhale and exhale. Let your breath slow down. And as your breath slows down, so does your mind. As your breath slows down, so does your mind. Try to maintain the role of the observer, just watching the breath as it happens on its own. Each breath comes and goes by itself without any involvement from us. Simply observe and become aware. the breath flowing in through the nose, into the lungs, the expansion of the diaphragm and abdomen, and notice the air moving back out as the belly comes in and the old air gets pushed out. Just watch this natural rhythm. Take a moment and gently shift our attention away from the breath and bring our attention to the sounds around us. Still maintaining the role of the observer, we allow each sound to come and go on its own. Just like the breath, there's no need to hold on to any one sound or sensation. We simply observe and become aware. sound comes and goes on its own without any involvement from us. And next we'll bring our attention away from the sensations of sound and we bring our attention to the sensations throughout the body. We scan the body from the top of the head to the tips of the toes and back up again noticing the sensations throughout the body, tuning in to our current physical state of being, just getting to know ourselves a little bit better with each passing moment. throughout the body, bring your attention to the sensations behind closed eyes. Behind closed eyes, we can observe our thoughts, the words and images that come with the thoughts, the feelings. 
feelings that come with them, just like the breath, just like the sounds. We allow the thoughts to come and go on their own. Each word, each image, each feeling comes and goes on its own without any involvement from us. We simply observe and become aware. In that space behind closed eyes, let's begin to visualize or imagine a light, a white light. And allow that light to expand and grow, completely illuminating the space behind the closed eyes. Bring your attention back to the breath, back to that rhythm in the belly, the rhythmic expansion and contraction of each inhale and exhale. And now is the perfect time to set an intention. An intention can be anything. It can be a goal or a project you're working on. Or it can be a feeling that you want to feel throughout the day. Setting that intention in calm moments, like right now, helps to make them a part of your subconscious mind, your subconscious action, so that you can trust yourself to work towards that intention without even thinking about it. You can trust that all your actions on a subconscious level will bring you closer to that intention. And if there's nothing specific, I always invite you to have an intention of staying present and expressing gratitude. Two things that can transform any experience. Staying present and expressing gratitude. Bring your hands together, rub them, rub them, generate heat with the hands and place it over the eyes. And blink your eyes open and remove the hands. And I hope you enjoy our mindful minutes. And like I said, I'm going to take a few moments. I want to talk about intention and some other things that we can do with intention. So what is an intention? For our purposes, an intention is setting a goal, setting, it's implanting, uh, it could be a goal, it could be just something we want to act on. Um, it could be anything that we want to act on or feel, and we're implanting that thing into our mind on a very deep level. And like I said in our mindful minutes, it helps to make it a part of your subconscious mind, your subconscious action, so that when something is that deep in your subconscious, every action you make, every thought you make, in a small way or a big way, brings you closer to that goal, to that intention. And this is possible because when you are calm and you're relaxed, your brain slows down and you go into something called the alpha state. And the alpha state is not only a place where we're calm and relaxed, but it's somewhere where we're receptive. It's like uh, opening the doorway into the subconscious mind while still being conscious. And in that receptive state, you can implant anything into your mind. And so that's the perfect time to set intentions, set goals, and you can trust yourself that you're going to work towards that thing without even thinking about it. It makes it a part of you. And the other part of that is routines. So intention is one thing, but creating routines to support our actions is another way that we can make things effortless. 
Routines help us to build discipline to work towards things consistently, again, without really thinking about them. We make them habits. Um, remember, uh, discipline prevails where motivation fails. So discipline, there's discipline in routines. Doing routines consistently make them, makes them habits. And it also makes them easier to do. Uh, makes our brain wired in such a way that it's more likely to do that thing and it takes less effort to do it each time. So after we set intentions, we want to make routines that support our lives, support our habits, that support these intentions, support our goals, right? Because again, we won't always feel motivated, we won't always feel like working towards the things, <laughs> whatever it may be, the things that we really want in life. And that's where discipline is there to help us. And we have to remember, discipline is another muscle to be built. And lastly, have you heard of decision fatigue? It's what it sounds like. It's fatigue, getting tired of making too many decisions. And everyone experiences this. In life, we have so many decisions to make from the time we wake up. We're constantly deciding things. Healthy routines take some of that pressure off because every decision we make adds stress. It adds stress to our nervous system, to our mind, and it takes a toll. It takes a toll. Anyone who's had a very long day or a busy day knows this. Anyone who's had to have many, many conversations throughout the day knows this. Because you know that there's just a point where when someone asks one more question, no matter how simple, no matter how easy, no matter how benign, or innocent, it just throws you over the edge and it's like, I can't answer one more thing. I think most of us have, have been there at least, at least once before. But the idea is, when we create routines, when we set our intention to make our actions subconscious so that we're no longer thinking about them, then we don't have to make decisions about all the little things that we do, whether it's getting dressed for the day or what you're going to eat. Um, thing, things like that. Um, scheduling. It can be anything. But the less decisions you take off your plate, the better. The less stress you create in your life, the and more energy you create for useful work. You leave more energy to do the things that you want to do, or the things that require more thought, more processing, um, more interactions with other people. And that helps us to pave the road for our success so that we can accomplish the things that we want without feeling burnt out, without feeling overwhelmed. So as strange as it sounds, try to make less decisions. Make less decisions, higher quality. Quality, not quantity. That's what we want. So there you have it. We have power of intention, routines, and how they can help us to reduce decision fatigue and ultimately reach our full potential, be the best version of ourselves that we can. And even more importantly, feel fulfilled, be, feel fulfilled about it. To feel like we are doing the things that we want to do and we are being the person that we want to be. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe, and if there's anyone that you think can benefit from this video, go ahead and share it with them.